Hi fudgies and welcome to the family fudge. Today by popular request I'm going to share with you how I make my version of a rainbow bread and I'm even going to show you a shortcut version so stay tuned. But before we get started don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Now I've been making themed lunches for quite some time and it's one of my favorite ways to make lunches for my kids. I've had so many requests to do a unicorn themed lunch and that's exactly what I did this week. Now if you want to check out that video I will link it down below. It was super fun. In that video I used this bread for sandwiches and I wanted to go more in depth and show you exactly how I made it because it was actually really easy. And then like I said I'm also going to show you a shortcut version. And the shortcut version great if you want to use less food coloring. It all starts with your basic bread dough. You definitely could make your own bread dough here, but I'm taking some help from the store by buying some pre-made dough. Makes it so much easier. I'm also using some gel food coloring, a little bit of flour to make sure my dough doesn't stick. I'm using some bread loaf pans I found at the Dollar Tree. And because I don't want to stain my hands, I'm going to wear some food safe gloves. I'm gonna start by dusting my working surface. I have some parchment paper down because I don't wanna stain my countertop either. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my dough. This was frozen and I defrosted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to divide it into equal parts. I'm gonna want six pieces. You definitely could make more or less depending on how many colors you want to do. I'm gonna to try to get these pieces as equal as I can. Now this dough is still a little bit cold. I definitely need it to come to room temperature and I need it to rise a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a damp kitchen towel over it and I'll come back in about 10 or 15 minutes. After the dough has had a chance to rise, it's time to add the food coloring. Now this part definitely gets messy. That's why it's important to have gloves if you don't wanna stain your hands. I'm gonna go ahead and start dyeing my dough. It takes quite a bit of food coloring to do this. Now you can add as little or as much food coloring as you like, but if you want a nice vibrant color, you're going to want at least a teaspoon or so of food coloring. And all you have to do is work it in. I'm going to go ahead and place this dough in a separate bowl because it is going to have a second rise before I layer them. So for this bread, I'm doing yellow, then I'm going to do some orange, red, purple, blue, and green. And now it's time to start layering the dough. This part is really easy, but it does take some time. I'm gonna start with my red first, and I'm gonna work on a floured surface with a floured rolling pin because I don't want anything to stick. I'm gonna roll this out nice and thin, and I want it to be a little bit larger than the pan that I'm going to bake it in. I'm going to set this red piece aside and get started on the next piece, which is going to be orange. I'm gonna flatten this out just the same way, but before I join the two together, I have a very important step. I'm going to take a basting brush and some water, and I'm gonna coat the surface of the first dough, which is the red dough, before I layer the orange dough directly on top. And this is gonna help the two doughs stick together. You know, I put all that flour on there so it wouldn't stick to the board, but I do want these layers to combine when I'm baking them. So I'm gonna go ahead and add water and it's gonna act like glue. And now I just have to repeat this process with all of my different colors. So now that I have all of my dough on there, I am gonna go ahead and make sure to press it down nice and firmly. I'm gonna go over it with my rolling pin one more time just to make sure I get rid of all of the air bubbles. I don't want any big holes in my loaf after it's done cooking, so I gotta get all of those air bubbles out. And before I roll it up, I do wanna add another layer of water, and that's gonna help all of these layers stick together once I have them in the pan. And I'm gonna roll mine so that the purple is on the outside. You definitely could reverse it if you prefer. Before I add my dough to the pan, I'm going to prepare it with a little bit of cooking spray and a sprinkling of flour. Then all I have to do is get it into the pan. I am gonna cover this for about 
10 minutes or so before I stick it into the oven. Now I'm going to very quickly show you a shortcut version. This is great if you don't have a lot of time and you don't want to use as much food coloring. Basically I'm just going to take my entire piece of bread dough and roll it out all at once. And then I'm actually going to paint my food coloring on using my basting brush. Once I have this side painted, I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Once both sides are painted with the food coloring, I'm going to roll it up and stick it in the pan. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cover this as well and let it rise for another 10 minutes before I stick it into the oven. Next, I got these into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool a little bit before I turn them out of their pan, and then I'm gonna to wait to cut them until they're completely cooled. And now for the most exciting part, it's time to cut them open. This bread turned out so cute. I love the beautiful swirl in it. And then you can also see the second loaf that we made it doesn't have as much color, but it still is really cute. But it was definitely a lot faster to make as well. And there you have it, two different but very easy ways to make rainbow bread. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching.